from dealing with drought to facing the fury of floods, it has never been easy being a farmer in Assam. But for the farmers of Ogoratoli Division in the eastern part of Kaziranga National Park, three sluice gates set up on the Moridhansiri River have been the biggest problem for the past three years. In 2019, the sluice gate behind me was built with the aim of providing water and irrigation facilities to the farmers in the eastern block of Kaziranga National Park. However, in the three years since, it has been alleged that this sluice gate has been nothing less than a disaster. The farmers allege that because of the sluice gate, the natural flow of the water has been severely blocked and as a result, flood waters, as and when they enter the areas, do not leave in due course. This year, the problem has been exacerbated by the fact that there has been very little rainfall and in the first week of August, there was water discharged in the Dhansri River, which led to floods. There are around 20 villages around the three sluice gates. While sluice gates number two and three wreak havoc on the paddy fields, it is sluice gate number one that separates Beloguri village number one from Bhukanigaon that has been the major concern for the villagers. Monuhar Pegu, who resides near sluice gate number two, explained that when flood water enters the fields, it cannot exit through the sluice gate, which ultimately defeats the whole purpose of the gate. Unuke koisilze, e sluice gate khano zoriyo the project to pori manor manu kheti khetiyo kolo pani jugan doibo paribo isa koi le bond koi bo aur isan jodi pani door karno hai tithe khuli dibo enuka dhono ko thazil. Kintu e sluice gate khano manai dia pasod e gute zibilak the unuka asha disil zibilak the unuka kotha disil sorkare he kotha bilak futukar phenolo rupan toy to hall aur tar phalat e bar ami dekhi bolle palu je ekdom bhayano kata sisti hall jod kikho kolo माने बिगाय बिगाय माटी ते उन लोगों धान नष्ट हो गया लारू तार पर अपने तो हो जाए आसान दे ते उन लोगों जी है आसानी लो चल जाए स्विज़गेट बनाए चले स्विज़गेट खान जाए ते उन लोगों बिफॉल जाए बिफॉल हॉल तार ऐटा पमान नहीं पालो है स्विज़गेट खान और जोड़ी होते पढ़ान होता है जो हो जाए मानोखिनी जि� कारण तो एक जे ये जिकोन स्विज़गेट बनाए चल स्विज़गेट कौन जितू लेबलर बना बोला किसी तात के पांच फुट ऊपर डस है पानी लेबल तो जो भी ईमानों थके तो तात के जो भी स्विज़गेट और जितू डाउन जितू लेबल हेतु जो भी ईमानों थके तेतिया वाले पानी किनी ज़्वाद बढ़ा हो माने पानी नज़ा बोए तार कारण है आर तो नौ खान और की हॉल जिकोन नौ या सिल जिकोन नौ ये डी पानी किनी ऐसे सिल हेप नौ खान बेसी पानी डॉकर हुआ कारण है नौ खान और जितु फ्लोइंग जितु माने बोझ वाला प्रोसेस हेप प्रोसेस तो स्टॉप हो गया और स्टॉप हो जाए लोगों को मानो किनी जितु जीवन होली है जीवन होली तो विभिन्न ढांढों बीमार � but since the gates were constructed at a much higher level from the ground, the water remains stagnant and submerges the cropland. Farmer Himonto Pegu lost 40 quintals of rice this year due to unnatural flood on his four big house of land. Had he been able to harvest this crop, he would have earned rupees 40,000 by selling the rice in the market. So he's got a dangar problem to hold the water. How did you स्विस गेट तो जो तो है तो स्विस गेट नेतिया के तो ये दौलान वाला ब्रिज था दिया ले पाइन तो पटा पर उलाई कुछ ही कल है ये पहले जानवरों प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मानवों प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यहाँ तो स्विस गेट तो दिखे ना मानवों बहुत प्रॉब्लम कोई से अकाजियोंगरों प्रॉब्लम है स्विस गेट थकी ले बोटमान नुवान ह Saurav Malhotra, co-founder of Rural Futures, an initiative of the Assam-based Palipara Foundation, has helped generate employment for many rural farmers in the state along with mentoring them about ecological conservation. According to Saurav, the technical aspects were completely disregarded while constructing these sluice gates. A lot of these development programs and, uh, and the building of sluice, sluice gates to prevent flooding is a major development program which I think is very, very important for the greater Kaziranga area and for a few areas in, in lower Assam as well. But the problem is that a lot of these programs are executed, uh, fully implemented without 
a stakeholder consultation and and it seems like without proper technical expertise and therefore end up becoming either non-performing assets or end up be becoming assets which are actually damaging to the local population. O obviously from what we, we understand uh, based on ground realities is that they're not serving the purpose. And, and the fact that they, they've been built about two to four feet higher than where they should have been built, I think proves that proper consultation did not happen before these were built, uh, that the stakeholders were not consulted and that probably perfect or the best possible technical expertise was also not consulted. Pranab Dole, a leader and a local resident, has witnessed the damage caused by these Swiss gates firsthand. He also claimed that the villagers were not consulted or made aware of the sluice gates. The department doesn't even recognize that this problem is because of the sluice gate. None of the departments, we have, sp we have spoken to the civil administration, we have spoken to the agricultural SDO, we have spoken to the forest department. On the other hand, we have even written like uh, complaints and memorandums for, on behalf of the people and people have signed and uh, we have sent it to the ADVs, Asian Development Bank headquarters offices as well and uh, but I mean uh, somehow we don't see that anything is happening around it because uh, there's been no response, there's been no positive response. I'm standing on top of sluice gate number two of the three sluice gates in this region. In the three years that the sluice gates have been made Farmers allege that they have been nothing less than disastrous. Because of the sluice gates, the water discharge is much lower and as a result, the rice crop ends up rotting. This year, the farmers' problems were compounded by the fact that initially they were under a drought and then in the first week of August, the entire area behind me was inundated with water. The confusion between floods, droughts and the sluice gate has meant that this year, the farmers in this region expect little to none of rice cultivation from this region and are now banking completely on the winter for growing mustard. With cameraman Brihatrabar Pegu, this is Amit Kumar for eastmojo.com. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.